Welcome back. Today's topic is on heredity and environment. Heredity, derived from Latin word hereditas, meaning capital which child received from his or her parents. Heredity includes the genetic characteristic from one generation to the next. In symbol, the transmission of biological and psychological characteristic from one parents to the offspring. According to R.S. Woodward, heredity covers all the factors that are present in the individual when he begins life, not at birth, but at the time of conception, about nine months before birth. Heredity is an initial condition present in the germ cell and everything that takes place after conception. It is very complex and it determines what an organism may become and what not it will become. Every human being is a result of conception which take place due to certain biological factors and processes. When two germ cells meet together, an organism life starts. The bearing of the germ cell, that is, to the three pair of chromosomes from each parent's Twenty-three from father's side and twenty-three from mother's side, altogether forty-six chromosome. According to geneticists, there are two big chromosomes, namely X and Y. In short, twenty-two chromosomes are called autosome, meaning both the male and female has the same autosome, while the twenty-third pair of chromosome, known as sex chromosome, the X. And Y chromosome, which determine the sex of a child. Types of heredity. The first one, biological heredity. All the inherited traits that we receive from our parents are called biological heredity. For example, the physical characteristics such as size, our appearance, our color of the skin, our color of the eyes, our strengths, muscles, etc. are called biological heredity. Mental heredity. Besides the physical characteristic, many mental characteristics are inherent. For example, our instinct, our intelligence are said to be inherent. Lastly, we have social heredity. Social heredity includes social equities, law, custom and tradition, etc. Without social heredity, man would be quite powerless in spite of all his biological good traits of intelligence. Laws of heredity First law, like rigid like. This law said that, as the parents, so are the children. Like intelligent parents have intelligent children, and vice versa, but we cannot generalize this law. Sometimes beautiful parents might have ugly children. Second law, law of variation. Sometimes children are not the true copy of their parents. There are many diversity. The reason is being different in the combination of the genes of the parents. Man genes decide the features. This does not mean that first and second law are contradictory to each other. Third law, law of recreation. Sorenson explained the meaning of the word recreation that sharp-minded parents might have less sharp-minded children. This is called recreation. Therefore, this is necessary for the teacher to know about the nature and the level of the students and also about his heredity level and thus he should frame his teaching methods. Environment Everything that surrounds us is called environment. In human psychology, environment includes the nutrition the child received, school, peer groups, etc. Environment can be described as something that individual receive from conception till death.
It is said that the social environment is very stimulating and enriching. It will create favorable impression in the person on his or her development, and if the environment is dull or inspired, behavior is likely to be shaped in an unhealthy way. Absence of adequate simulation in the environment is liable to cause various emotional deficiency in the individual. According to Woodsward, environment covers all the outside factors that have acted on the individual since he began life. Why environment is important? It guides the development process of a child. Controlled emotion can be created among the students and it helps the teacher to create better environment according to the needs of the child. Types of environment Physical Physical environment includes the physical factors of the environment that affect the child. For example, like food, temperature, climate, resource, etc. Social cultural environment Social cultural environment includes the social factor like family, community, peer group, etc. It further includes the cultural atmosphere of the society like religious, literature, music, social conversation, and political organization. Every individual inherits the cultural traits from the social environment. Mental environment. This means the atmosphere essential and helpful for the mental development of a person. This will include the intellectual atmosphere at home, the atmosphere at school, etc. The child learns new experiences unconsciously in the mental environment. 